With the decrease in tourists, with the, um, the lockdowns and the slowdowns generally in the economy, then in 2020 we lost one-fifth of our container volumes, right? At the same time, our sugar exports um, declined by 50%, and then suddenly the cruise ships stopped in totality, right? So that was a 90, I think statistically that was a 97 or a 94% loss that we had in uh, 2020. 2021, you know, we've seen a little bit of recovery, but my, my volume and therefore my revenue is still 13% um, below 2019. Uh, we have one cruise ship a week instead of two or three per day, and my sugar is still um, very low. It's still 50% of 2019. So we've had a, a pretty huge hit to our revenue stream, um, and that's caused a, a major problem to the bottom line. And we need to manage that the best we possibly can. Mm -hmm. How do you go about perhaps systematically addressing each one of these issues? Now, our revenue stream is not something that we necessarily have direct control over. And another thing to remember about our revenue stream is that we work with a tariff which dates back to the early 1980s. So there has been no increase in unit revenues in nearly 40 years since the port began. So without the unit revenues increasing, and, and, and we can't just push up the unit revenues either because that simply just makes the, um, the price for consumers for yes. imported goods more expensive. It makes Belizean exports uh, less attractive in the world. So um, the only thing we can really focus on is our cost, and, and our, cost is, um, our cost is king for us right now, and we need mm -hmm. to make every effort that we can. So in, in 2020, we, we unfortunately had to say goodbye to 34 staff, and that, that hurt a lot. It hurt the people, mm -hmm. it hurt the company, it hurt the remaining employees. But it was a situation that we were essentially forced into. Um, you know, we have to main, make sure that the business is sustainable.